This air conditioner company makes its coils entirely of aluminum, which is five times more corrosion resistant than coils made of copper and aluminum. To make the coil, workers position an aluminum tube, called the spine, in the middle of the special winding machine. Then they feed in an aluminum strip. The machine slits the aluminum strip into thin teeth, called fins. Then it folds and wraps thousands upon thousands of fins around the spine, making a material they call spine fin tubing. Each tiny fin is a heat transfer vehicle. Now to form the coil, they hook the end of the spine fin tubing to an automated winder. It spirals the spine fin tubing into a large cylindrical shape. When they finish winding the coil, they cut the end free from the feeder, then apply hot glue to hold everything together. The next machine presses the coil on all sides to form it into the shape of the air conditioner. A worker now cuts into the coil and bears a row of tubing. These cuts determine the circuits, the term for the path the refrigerant takes as it flows through the coil. The pipes that feed these circuits are made of copper, but copper doesn't fuse directly to aluminum, so workers must first solder on transition tubes coated with a zinc aluminum alloy. Then they attach the copper manifolds that distribute the refrigerant to the circuits. Once all the refrigeration components are in place, workers subject the coil unit to an underwater pressure test to make sure there are no leaks. In another department, workers have assembled the air conditioner's compressor. They mount the compressor to a weather-resistant plastic base, then cover it with a sound reducer, a vinyl jacket filled with fiberglass insulation. Now they add the coil. It sits between posts in the base. For an air conditioner to work well, it can't have air or moisture in its refrigeration system. So workers hook up the unit to automated machinery that completely evacuates the lines. Next, workers connect wiring and install corner supports, then begin assembling the unit's exterior housing. The top perimeter piece is shaped to direct the airflow out of the unit. A motorized fan pulls air into the unit. A plastic grill lets air exit and keeps debris from falling inside. Finally, they seal the refrigerant lines by brazing shut a pair of tubes. The housing parts are made of zinc-coated steel. The factory spray paints them, then bakes the paint for maximum durability. Air conditioners sit outdoors, so they have to withstand all kinds of weather. The factory sends sample units to a performance testing laboratory. It runs them in extreme heat, extreme cold, rain and snow to see if, under such harsh conditions, they keep their cool.